So I did a bit of decluttering this past week, mostly in my daughter Hannah's closet. She had a lot of clothes that she has outgrown, so I did drop off my donation before going inside of Goodwill today. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new here, hi, my name is Jessica, and I share weekly thrifting adventures here on my channel. I have been refreshing the decor in several rooms of my home lately. I tend to get bored with decor accents, so thrifting is a great way to refresh your home without spending a lot of money. Another benefit is that you can usually find a variety of decor styles from different time periods all in one place. I will share with you anything that I purchase at the end of the video, so keep watching if you want to find out what I scored today. And as always, let me know what your favorite item was down in the comments section. I really enjoy reading and responding to everyone's answers. So one thing in particular that I am looking for today are some more small white plates. My family uses these a lot and I have noticed that I am running low on the smaller plates. Some of them are chipped and I need to get rid of them and also I have broken a lot over the last year so I really need to find some more and I just love the simplicity of white plates. They can go with anything so hopefully I find some today. So this next item is not my style, but I thought I would share it with you guys because I can definitely appreciate the uniqueness and the detail of it. So if you collect pictures and also love cats, this is the perfect item for your collection. So speaking of collections, it looks like someone donated their entire pineapple collection and you will see that over the next few clips. So one thing I wish I would have purchased today was this small little ring holder right here. I think it would have looked really cute in my bathroom and I'm pretty sure it's already been snatched up so I'm not even going to bother going back to look for it.
If you are someone who likes to collect salt and pepper shakers, I think these silver ones right here were really pretty, but unfortunately I could not find a price anywhere on them. I have also been on the hunt for unique items to style my living room coffee table. I have been checking out the bowls, trays, and vases a little bit more often. I didn't find anything today, but I will keep looking. When I first saw this lamp, I thought it would be perfect for my guest bedroom, but you might not be able to tell on camera, but it was leaning a lot and the bottom base had been dented in, so I decided to pass on it. So I did check out the furniture selection, but I didn't see anything really even worth filming on today's trip, but I did come across this little doll bench right here. It was made out of like cast iron and wood. I thought it was really cute and I'm sure someone is going to snatch this up. I also considered purchasing this white dog container to store my dog Peanut's dog food in, but at $12.99 I decided to pass. And the last item that I wanted to share with you guys before I show you what I purchased today was this life-size cardboard cutout of Bob Ross. And this has to be one of the most randomly awesome thrift scores that I have seen in a while. So the first thing that I purchased on today's trip was the small ironstone plates. They were 69 cents each and they were stamped by the Federalist Ironstone Company in Japan. I washed them all and I removed the prices just with the hot soapy water from cleaning them and now they are ready to be put away and used by my family. The last thing that I purchased today was that beautiful wooden salt dish for $2.99. I did thrift one of these a few months ago for 99 cents, but I loved the look of this one and could not leave it behind. It does have two openings, one for salt and one for pepper. I did remove the price with a magic eraser and I washed it thoroughly before I put the salt and pepper inside. In case you haven't seen the other salt container that I thrifted a few months ago, here's what it looks like. And I will be giving this one to my mom. And here's what my new one looks like on my counter with my Himalayan salt on one side and my pepper on the other. And that is everything that I thrifted today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to go out and go thrifting. You never know what you're going to find. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.